Hi again, Scott here from EdgeMath. I want to talk about negation and existential universal quantifiers today uh, with some examples uh, in response to a student question. So, so we want to write the following using existential universal quantifiers and then find the negation. So for example, every even integer is two times another integer. So let's see. So every even integer is two times another integer. So that means if we have an even integer, then there's another integer that two times the second integer is the even integer. So so we can write that. Let's see. For every even integer, so that's like for all even integers. So for all, uh, let's see. We could call that n for all n. If um, so, all n where n is even, then that implies if n is even. So, so we've got every even integer. So for, for all n, if n is even, then it's two times another integer. So there exists m such that. 2m is n. So for every even integer, so for all n such that n is even, there exists some other integer m such that 2m is n. And then the negation, let's see. If we want to negate, um, we change, general rule is we change for all to there exists, so there exists an integer such that n is even. So we change the for all to exist and exist to for all. So there exists n where n is even. Um, and but for all m, so we do the opposite here. There exists we change that to for all, and then we negate this, 2m is not n. So just a quick summary, we change for all to there exists and vice versa. So we change the alls to exist and exist to alls. So we want to change for all to the exists, keep everything else the same, but just negate the last part. So, so we switch the exists and alls, and then negate the last part. And how about a new one? Let's see a new question. Uh, how about negative one is not the square root of any real number? So we want to write this in existential or universal form. So negative one is not the square root of any real number, or it's not the square. So we're saying for every, for all real numbers, for all x with x is real, um, so it's never, the square of x is never minus one x squared is not minus 1. So if we want to negate that, so we change, uh, so again we change uh, the for all to exist and vice versa. So we take for all to there exists, there exists x where x is real. We change the for all to there exists, keep everything else the same, but do the opposite here. So x squared is not minus 1. The opposite of that is x squared equals minus 1. Or another way to say that is minus 1 has a square.
Um, so that's the negation of negative one is not the square of an equilibrium number. Great, uh, let me know if that makes sense. Uh, and hope you have a great day.